101.5 WB and Q, today's best music. Time to talk to Dale off the air. It's just comfortable for us to chat a little bit longer undisturbed. And today's topic for All Things Green in our podcast is, did you say slugs? No. We're going to talk about suckers on trees. Suckers. Oh, I eaters. thought that was a slug. No. What's okay. a sucker? Well, the shoots, the new shoots that grow at the base of the tree, they're generally referred to as suckers. Uh, crab trees are really bad about it. The uh, Canada red cherry. Almost any tree can grow suckers. I've seen linden trees grow it. Almost any tree can but it's primarily certain varieties. And so many people take their lawnmower and mow over them or their trimmers or their weed eater, and that's the worst one. People are really, really damaging trees with their weed eaters. I saw four or five of them Wednesday. They just, they they see the television commercials where the tree doesn't get damaged by the weed eater and your shoes and stuff. Oh, look how this doesn't hurt anything. And it just pounds that bark on a young tree. Mm -hmm. On an older tree, it's not so bad. But every week you beat up the bark in the same places. And I've seen a lot of dead trees in the last year or two from weed eaters. But I think the baby trees look so much better when you mulch or rock or put something around them anyway. Absolutely, that's true. And I think you should never have grass around the base of a tree. And, you know, two or three foot circle, it's a wonderful Mm -hmm. place to plant some flowers. It's what hostas were meant for. When the tree gets bigger, absolutely. But the suckers are the shoots that people are starting. And you cut one and you get two. Mm -hmm. You cut two, you get four. And you need to take some time. You need to get out there and take a hand trowel and some pruners, maybe a little pruning saw, and get the dirt pulled back and dig down in the dirt a little bit and try and cut the suckers as short as you can and remove them. Cover them up with dirt and mulch. If one or two pop up, I used to spray with Roundup. Roundup is only absorbed by green leaves, Mm -hmm. green bark, or cuts in the bark. Mm -hmm. Well, you bury the, the cuts you've done deeply, and as one or two pop up, you spray them. Now, I've heard some people say, oh, that can damage the tree in the long run. Yeah, I would think that would get into the well, trees. But the glyphosate Roundup will break down over time. So I've done it for years to my crab tree out front. I've done it for almost 20 years. But I've heard some people say, oh, there's potential for problems. So recommending it, there's a product called Sucker Stopper. It's expensive. It's $32 a bottle. It's, it's like, wow. But it works. And I've seen... Hundreds of trees where people fight those suckers every week. I don't recommend spraying 30. I recommend taking a half hour if you have to and beating the job. Get it done. Out of sight, gone. When one pops up, two pop up, you know, and that $30 bottle will last you for several years. And it's just spraying it on there. It's a trigger sprayer. It sprays in the foliage and it burns the sucker back just like the Roundup does, but it doesn't harm the tree. The point is, if you get after it, you'll win the battle. If you get out there and cut them all off and spend an hour doing it and don't get after it, six months later, they'll be there again. You have to get there and follow up with the spray. The Roundup trick has worked well for me, but I've heard problems, so I'm saying, eh, the spreader sticker is the safe way to recommend. But get after it. Stop using the weed eater. Stop. I've seen people mowing them with their lawnmower, and they have hundreds of them. Hey, I've now learned the less I have to mow, the better. So let's huh? surround all those trees. Let's surround get, the get edges of the Get your mulch around the tree. Keep the, the uh, grass away from the tree. Again, I saw a nice maple tree, four or five inch tree the other day. They hit with the riding mower and took half the bark off the tree. Ooh. And it's going to survive, but it's going to be set back for years. If you take off half the life of the tree, half the energy, half the supply line of the tree, it's so important. And it's so easy to do it right. And it doesn't take that much longer. Okay. Mulch that around the tree, get after the suckers. But slugs are starting to be a bit of a problem, too, now that you mention them, because we've had so much rain. Okay, yeah. And slug bait. It's, it's a simple product. You buy it. There's an organic version. There's other version, whichever. You pull the leaves up. You put a little pile there. The slugs are attracted to it. It works wonderful without spraying chemical. You're putting a chemical at the base of the plant, kind of tucked under the plant. Works wonderful. And done. No more slugs. All right, Dale from Growing Grounds. We talk all things green on the air and off the air every Friday. Check it out here on the WBNQ.com page.